hello guys hope you are doing well so today we are going to create another thing and that's called the mark you section which is uh, nowadays uh, very common and that's uh, being used everywhere so today we are going to create this mark you section good looking mark you section for that i actually created it uh, over here so there is a code uh, i have this inspiration coming from uh, some of the paid themes so that's why i'm using over it uh, like something like that and here's the code for that all right so it's a very simple code and uh, let's create it in in our theme itself so we'll name it as a mark you section mark you section okay so again we'll name it as mark Q and we are going to make it as full width mark you full width okay and then uh, again uh, we are going for blocks and then we are going for presets and yeah in preset we have uh, name which would be mark you q full width so with that being created i'll just uh, put everything which is here we don't need the script tag it's very simple and uh, it's very useful thing and makes the site look very much cool so we have this already there and uh, uh, we have some styling which we'll have to paste over here so we'll have to use percent style and uh, then end style style and then save it uh, we'll put it over here perfect now uh with that being done it should be uh, all good and um, we can actually customize it and put a section over here <coughs> and that should be a full width section um, we should be talking about so uh, we have this mark you section mark you full width and perfect that is it and we have this mark you full width coming up it doesn't have any anything over here but definitely will add some blocks over here so we'll put uh well uh, put the content in in terms of blocks all right so the blocks would be uh blocks would be content so uh, the blocks would be content uh like text uh, so let's put a text thing and again i'll i'll simply copy this and uh, paste it over here because uh, yeah I am lazy and uh, being lazy is also good so under blocks we have uh, this and this goes here and this should be it uh, okay wait uh, comma is re removed we have this covered up and then we have this okay so we we closed this over here and then we closed this over here we closed this over here uh we have this blocks okay coming two times so that's the problem so let's scroll okay i'll just remove this blocks and now 
what we have is uh, presets we have this closing up here we have this uh, this is not being closed we'll close it and yeah and instead of title uh, sh maybe we can just write uh, scrolling text okay and uh, we can name it as scrolling text and name it as scrolling text okay so that being done uh yeah i think so we're good to go so I'll, i've limited it to three maybe i'll just put four and now what i'll do is i'll remove this uh, infinite thing and put some uh, span over here span and in the span what i'll do is i'll try to put some content which is coming from the blocks so i'll repeat the blocks so uh, percentage four for block in section dot blocks all right and then percentage and four okay now we have this block dot settings dot uh now instead of title uh we'll put it as text dot text okay perfect uh now we should have that in our customized section and uh, let's put uh like bold prints so i'll refresh it and uh, we should not have anything at the moment but definitely we'll have a few things later on okay uh, we scroll down and we have nothing but we have this add scrolling text and we can add this bold prints and then again what we can add is um, let's add bold prints fresh colors uh, because we are going to create something very similar to this so we have fresh colors okay and then we have uh, uh, this also okay and uh, let's put this and one more text because that's the limit i've kept over here we can put it uh this way so new arrivals right wills okay and let's see how it looks okay it looks good uh but it is kind of uh not you see it's kind of not uh repeating it. like it's it's working but i don't think so it's giving us more options so what i'll do is i'll repeat for loop i'll i'll just uh, repeat this whole loop for let's repeat for loop shopify right for loop shopify uh let's see what we can do we don't need this thing i in okay so i'll just repeat it five times so i don't think so i need a uh, the whole thing so i'll just repeat it four to five times 
and i don't need i here but it would be kind of repeating this whole thing five times although it's not being used but what will do what it will do is it will repeat this uh, this new arrival thing uh, or whatever we have added five times that means uh, we need not to add it multiple times okay so that that would will fill the whole thing so what next i would be doing is uh, okay so in content we don't need the content we have the track uh, which will do one thing in the span will uh, give uh, a class equal to mark q spacing mark q uh, gap right so we'll have to put some gap just like they have done so that there is a gap between them okay so let's do it and we can put a gap would be like a gap to rem the rem the gap would not work because uh, uh we have it okay it, it should work only when uh you know we have uh, made it as so let's put it this way uh we can put a gap over here so if we make it as display flex okay and we put a gap gap 3 rem or maybe 4 rem 5 rem 6 rem whatever rem we have so when i do for this you see there is a gap uh, adding for 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 other parts also so in order to avoid that what we'll have to do is we'll have to uh, name it as mark you content or the other way around so I, I, i'll just tell you what what exactly I, I would be doing so it should be i'll name it as mark you content mark you content and also over here mark you content right so now it will only affect this mark you content only perfect it's looking good and uh, yeah i think so it's looking good we can give different colors to different different uh, parts over here so let's do it uh, so we can give a uh, style equal to color now the color would be decided by block dot settings dot color we'll have to add a color over here so in order to get the color we'll have to use uh, this color property so we'll use the color property over here and uh, i'll make it look better but yeah uh, it would be color right so by default it is zero text color so and uh, let's uh, json formatter online we'll go to json formatter and we'll format this whole json because that's always a json schema is kind of a json so uh, we put it over here and uh, we copy this or maybe just copy that and paste it now it's looking nice and uh, for me it's okay and uh, other than that we'll format this also which will make it more better and the way we used this scroll up uh, this id thing we are going to use this this whole thing so uh, let's use this id also if you are not aware uh, why uh, i'm using this id please check my uh, previous videos so this id ensures that uh, whatever i do 
is fixed fixated whatever css i do over here is only uh, available for this particular uh, particular block only so it's it doesn't affect other blocks so yeah i think so that is uh, done and uh, we can change the color of different different sections over here so yeah uh, so we, we we can change different colors so we can make it uh, red one we can make red one we can make green one we can make uh, blue and one we can make uh, well we can keep uh, we can uh, just define yellow and uh, there are a lot of other things we can do with this but yeah i think so uh, it's okay uh, and we have this whole full width uh, scrolling text and it's kind of customizable uh, we can customize the color we can also check the font so uh, one more thing uh, which i think so is missing over here is uh, the automatic play and pause thing so uh, the automatic play and pause thing has stopped for some reason so let's see why it is uh, so uh, we have this mark you content okay frag and then we have this mark you content which is actually uh we have this mark you coming up okay so if we hover over to this so if i hover over to this it should actually stop and uh, it should be not 32 seconds maybe uh, 38 seconds and uh, mark you dot yeah this okay let's see it stops perfect it's looking good and uh, it's easily customizable so hope you understood how to use this whole uh, mark you section and uh, definitely we can add uh, more things over here like uh, we can add uh, this thing like i added this content title so even uh, we can add a mark you top header thing but i don't think so we need require we require that thing we can put a background color for that that's totally uh up to you you can decide whatever you want so uh i'll leave that up to you but you are free to edit this whole code yourself all right but yeah now you know how to uh create a full width mark you section so this was uh, a short tutorial i hope you liked it and uh, pl please uh, be sure to subscribe this channel and i'll see you in next video thank you so much guys and have a nice day